Okay, they yeah. went on to uh, defeat the Cubs, and then Miami went on to defeat the Yankees in the World Series. Okay, but that was the closest that the Cubs had come to uh, actually being in a World Series, and it was their own fans' fault. And is Bartman now not allowed in the stadium, or well, what? Well, they don't know where he is, because... Now, one thing you have to say for the man, they said, he he has not cashed in on anything. You know, he's been people have been seeking him for interviews. They wanted to do a movie about him. They wanted to write a book about him. It's like he fell off the face of the earth. Nobody knows where he is. There were he he received hate mail, hate mail, and they were going to murder him. I'm sure that's what I'm saying. It was terrible. You know, but this guy, I don't think, you know, you talk about wearing the glasses with the nose, you know, the yeah. funny the funny nose and everything with the eyebrows. Yeah. Well, the bottom line is this guy, <laughs> he, he hasn't even worn that. You know, I don't know what to tell you. He's probably hiding with the dentist. Oh, that guy, yeah, Leo, the lion. Yeah, yeah well, Cleo. That's, that's, that's another story in itself. Yes. But, uh... Yeah. You know, we forgot to do we a phone told. number, right? That's right. I forgot what it is. That's why. Well, let's ask Chad. 646-595-3275, or as Chad likes to say, 646-595-3275. You're listening. 3275, and we say 3275. And you are listening to the Coffee Club. That's right. Being heard live on Spreaker. That's right. Block Talk Radio. So why don't you give us a call and let us know. I mean, there must be sports fans out there. Uh, Oh, we could also talk about... um, I heard something very interesting having nothing to do with sports or politics. Oh, my heavens. (laughs) We're breaking grounds today. I know. In Seattle. In Seattle, there was a family. The The wedding was somehow called off. Somebody backed out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it cost the, the, the family of the bride $35,000 for 120 guests. Okay. And they couldn't get their money back. So what they did was, you talk about playing it forward... They just had a party. They threw a party for homeless people. And they invited as many homeless people as they could to come to this sit-down dinner and actually... And liquor. Well, I don't know. They didn't say anything about that. But but they had quite a spread, I must say. Okay. Uh, how often do you hear about something like that? You that know? That's fantastic. I love it. I do too. I think it's. Gr- I mean, they you know they weren't getting any money back, so might as well give it to people who probably never celebrated like that before, and may never celebrate like that again. Yeah. So as I said, you talk about paying it forward. Uh, that certainly is paying it forward. I love that. That's that's great. The homeless. That uh, I, I would families have families just... came with. Uh... Now look, I'm not. I'm sure that not all of them were homeless. Some of them might have been, you know, down and out on their luck. But you know, there were children there and everything. And know? I'm sure some families showed up just to uh, introduce themselves and uh, wish them luck and uh, and probably part- parted with them. Hey, you know. What are you going to do? No, it's, hey, you know. um, That's what I call, not bad news, but not not really so bad. Well, it's it's tough news on the uh, family of those, you know, the the, the bride who uh, are looking forward to the wedding or whatever, but. uh, (laughs) But who broke off the wedding? That's the question. I don't know. If it was a bride that broke it off, then... And I have no idea. I know. I'm just saying, neither do I. You know, but what can I say? I can say it's a... It could be... Hey, listen, it was probably a fun party. All these... Imagine if it was one of those, like, in a New York style with open liquor and all that. Well, like I said, this was in Seattle, so yeah. uh, uh, I, I know that 
No one puts on an affair like a New York affair. I mean, that's, yeah, it's just, yeah you know, we, we, we all know, uh, unless it's L.A. I mean, in LA, I, I, I don't sure, even you know. know. Yeah, I'm sure in L.A. Yeah. New York has, you know, has some elaborate weddings. Everybody expects it. The other thing that's different in New York than in, in a lot of other spots is the cash gifts. You get married in most other places, you get a gift, not cash. Well, I know that, um, you see, if, if the couple getting married is a little bit older, let's say they're in their early 30s, mm -hmm. okay? You know, everybody registers at stores, so they, they get gifts. But I know it's always been a New York tradition to, uh, you know, give cash. Yeah, in New York. So I said, but outside New York... And I've gone to weddings in Washington, in uh, Maryland, Virginia, and I think Miami, maybe. Oh, I know somebody got married in Miami. And there's no such thing as money. I gifts. mean, no, you could give Wendy's coupons. You can give uh, McDonald's uh, coffee. Uh, yeah, people coupons, people come in know? and bring in a couple of a couple of cans of canned food for them for the future. You know. <laughs> Now, that's not funny. No. You never but, know uh, when you could use them beans. Hey, listen. The old K-rations in the, in the army. Yeah. You know, you beans don't, don't have to be heated up. That's, yeah. that's a good thing. I heard now, I hear now ads on the conservative shows for these uh, companies that are selling emergency food rations. The last twenty five years, oh, for the bomb shelters and stuff. Yeah, they're yeah, starting last with that again. Back in the hey, listen, I'm sure there are some people who had bomb shelters back in the fifties, and I'm sure this stuff is still down there. I'm sure there's people that have it now too. As I said, that's this. A, but listen. I'm sure that it's that that stuff from the fifties is still there. No, but what I'm saying is these people are ordering it now. We're talking about major radios. Oh, I know. I know. The advertisers made, you know, they said it's good. It's good today as it's going to be in 25 years. It's good in 25 years. It's good today. Well, you know, what whatever. The so that well, means it's horrible now and it's horrible then. Well, you know what the uh, with with relations with Russia being what they are, who who knows? You know, you may uh, need that stuff again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm trying to remember, I don't remember the name of the product, but I'm sure if you, if anybody's really interested, I'm not promoting it, but you could look, you could Google it, and it's, and it's yeah, probably just food. Look up K rations. Yeah, you know? food to puke by, or something. Oh, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's get into a little bit of. Uh, Hillary seems to be gaining a little her some of her uh, numbers back. Well, I, you know, there's all all the all the talk now is about Benghazi, of course, and uh, over the weekend the Sunday talk shows had uh, Trey Gowdy and a bunch of people from the uh, from the uh, Benghazi uh, hearing, you know, that the Republicans are putting together, and uh, they say it's. Not so much about Benghazi as it is about, you know, it is the emails and it is the fact that she didn't keep the embassy safe. Uh, they're, they're, they're groping for straws, trying to explain themselves, really. Uh, well, some when, of them you know, are doing... Well, one thing they did say on the news today, yeah. they said, you know, um, the other big talk over the weekend is, uh, you know, uh, the Donald happened to say in an interview with Bloomberg News that George W. Bush did not keep us safe because he said, look, he said, the Twin Towers fell during his watch. So the interviewer said, well, you're not blaming Bush for that, are you? So he said, well, the bottom line is they had to have some inkling, you know, they it was known that you know, intelligence were reporting that bin Laden was talking about committing an act of terrorism on American soil, and, you know, nothing was done about it, no, no preparations were being taken as far as they know, and then what did Bush do? Then he, you know, he uh, got us into a war in Iraq, which we had no business going into, 
Uh, Jeb, of course, is trying to salvage his brother's reputation by saying, well, he kept us safe. And uh, the Donald, you know, uh, quite a few of uh, the Democratic uh, people are saying that uh, he's saying what Democrats have felt all along but didn't want to bring it up because 9-11 was so sensitive and it still is and it always will be to this country. Yeah. You know, the fact that uh, you got the Iraq War, okay, um, the fact that Bush really did not go after bin Laden the way he should have. In fact, I remember when Bush was asked at a news conference about bin Laden, and he said, well, I don't think that much about him anymore. Yeah, How could you not think about the number one terrorist in the world who perpetrated the raids of and the you know the tragedies of 9/11 on American soil? You know. Well, he's right. I don't think about him that much either. But that doesn't well, mean he's dead now. Exactly. Tell you the truth, I don't think that much about Bush now either. <laughs> yeah, but I you know he wasn't that harsh on the Bushes. It was more what he said. It was it was implying like he always does. He'll say something. Well, he said, well, you're not blaming him. Well, it was his watch. Well, but that's what they're saying. These are things that Democrats have thought, and Amer the American people have thought for years, but nobody thought about saying anything about it. You know what I, you know what I mean? Well, you know, I mean, yeah, there's always speculation that they heard of, that there was a lot of, uh, what do they call that, chatter? about something going to happen big. Well, you know, and, and then, you know, what they did was they compared it to, uh, you know, Pearl Harbor. And they said that FDR knew in advance to expect something. You know, something was on the horizon, he was told, by the Japanese. But at that point, he wanted to get America into the war. So, you know, quite a few... Navy admirals were demoted because they said that FDR should have done something sooner. He knew that something was up and he didn't do anything. And they were demoted for that, you know? They lost rank. Well, a lot of things happen behind the doors that we don't know about. And history will hide it. Well, uh, we have 50 more years to go before we find out the truth about the Kennedy assassination. Yeah, it's true. Well, I don't think me and you are going to be watching it when they, when they open up the capsule. No, no, I'm not planning on freezing my head or anything like that, so uh, it wouldn't do me any good. Well, you never know. 20 years from now, they may come up with a, uh, a needle, you take it, and then you... You live forever. And well, listen, I heard the butler did it, you know. Yeah. The butler? No, yeah. actually, I, I, I actually believe, at first I thought that it was a conspiracy, most definitely. But, you know, when you think about it and you say to yourself, that's the kind of plot that actually one semi-intelligent guy, by that we mean Lee Harvey Oswald, probably could pull that off on his own, you know? And I firmly believe that Oswald did act alone, okay? I think that, yes, maybe, you know, uh, industry, you know, the, the steel industry and everything, were they, they had it in for Kennedy for whatever reason. And, uh, the Chicago mob. The mob had it in. So the bottom line, but the thing is, I think that Oswald acted alone. The, the bottom line is Oswald acted alone. That my own opinion. And, you know, well, opinions well, are like, you know... Well, the, got the one, thing so. is, we know nothing, and the official, I guess, official... Well, the, the, the official st statement... The official the statement is, is that, that he, he acted done, by done himself, his own, yeah. You know? So if we're not knowing anymore, we really, you know, we can have theories, but that's the only thing that seems, 
you know, we can all have theories. That's the end of the, the, They can't be proven by any of us. 